Hey everyone, it's Andy with the Reverb Tome Report, and who would have thought 2024 was the year of the Ring Mod? We have a brand new one from Warm Audio, their Ringer Bringer, which is, of course, based on a classic and long discontinued analog Ring Mod pedal. But we're also going to be looking towards the future with the Red Panda Radius, and this one goes above and beyond your standard uh, Ring Mod sound. So let's just get into a little bit on how a Ring Mod works, and most importantly, get into all these creative and otherworldly sounds. The most basic ring mods, whether analog or digital, involve a bit of simple math. It combines the frequency from an instrument with a carrier frequency. The ring mod then outputs both the sum and difference of those two frequencies. The results of these clashing sideband frequencies are often very unpredictable, bell-like, and robotic. And not surprising, some of the earliest ring mod devices were utilized in sci-fi films. But it's also been a creative tool in music across many genres, from Miles Davis to the Mars Volta. The Warm Audio Ringer Bringer is obviously a tribute to Bob Moog's Ring Mod pedal, and stays true to every aspect, from the always-on analog preamp to the frequency range and LFO selection. And just like we've seen from Warm Audio in the past, this vintage-inspired Ring Mod comes in at a much lower price point. In the digital domain, we have the Red Panda Radius, which uses an algorithm based on the same effect, but gives players more range to experiment with by offering carrier frequency shifting and tracking automatically. But let's dive right into a ring mod by using a Source Audio Ultra Wave loaded with a basic ring mod preset without any LFO. <laughs> Listen to what happens while I randomly increase the carrier frequency. A ring mod can also turn a guitar into a funky clavinet. So at the very basic level, we have tuning of the carrier frequency to match the key you're playing in. But that carrier frequency doesn't always have to be static. We have an LFO, and we could make that carrier frequency modulate or fluctuate in a subtle manner or get very aggressive and choppy when we go over to the other waveforms. And when you go over to square wave, it becomes a lot more robotic and uh, synth-like.
Radius also has an easy push to tune feature for the carrier frequency. Let's hear it tuned to the B string with an envelope triggered LFO. And its range of carrier frequencies, whether in tune or not, can produce some juicy phase tones as well. And there's a whole other side to the Ringer Bringer, and for every ring mod for that matter, if you explore the lower frequencies. This is easily accessed just by hitting the low rocker switch, and we're just going to alter the sound by changing the drive and the mix as well. And now we start to get sort of a double pulse here when we increase the mix. And back to those lower frequencies, the LFO can really uh, interact with the tremolo effects you have dialed in and almost give it a ramping up and down effect. <laughs> And here's probably one of my favorite things to do with the Ringer Bringer, and that's use an expression pedal to control the range of that frequency knob. And I have it in the high range, so we're getting all those classic ring mod sounds and sort of uh, kind of radio frequencies from beyond by sweeping with the expression pedal. And you could just have this in the background if you want. I have a little bit of delay, courtesy of the Nemesis, and I have that mix, like I said, a little bit lower, so you could still play something and hear uh, just a little bit of dissonance and uh, sweep into that. A uh, cool higher frequency range whenever you need it.
Well, there you go, a look at ring modulators. And you heard the Ringer Bringer from Warm Audio, as well as that new Radius from Red Panda. Of course, you could find all these effects, including the Source Audio Ultra Wave, right here on Reverb. Be sure to let us know in the comments your favorite component of a ring mod, and I'll see you next time.